Hey, I am back with a bit of in the news. And this particular article, I saw one of the bits is behind a paywall, and I'll link that in the description to this video, just in case you're a subscriber. But it speaks to the fact that they estimate UK is a hub for about a hundred though a hundred billion pounds for money laundering activities in that that is never detected um the imf also estimates in another article and i'll link that as well that money laundering could be two to five percent of global gdp wait what that's a big number and you might be thinking, well, you know, someone, how does that, how does that impact me? Well, it can have impact directly to you and change how you live your life. One example that I like to use is home ownership. In Caribbean islands and around the world, you might have an opportunity to buy a piece of property or a house or build a house, but let's just talk about property purpose purchases. And this is why real estate agents are also in scope for AML CFT. <coughs> Australia. <laughs> you see, you could have a real estate agent, you could have property owners, estates, you know, families, and it still exists in the Caribbean where you have families that have acres of land. And a half acre of land might have gone for $50,000 $50, maybe 15 years ago. But because, you know, X may be, you know, or Y may be a criminal, they're willing to pay a premium and over time because they're wanting to get rid of that cash and launder it through different ways. And real estate is one of the ways. And so instead of paying $50,000, they would say, well, I'll pay you $75,000 over two years. What do you think that does to the price of land for the rest of the real estate holding? That family or that estate or that landowner might be thinking, oh my God, you know, I was underpricing my land. So good of X or Y, John or Jane to let me know the fair value for my property. And the value of land goes up and suddenly you can't own a home or buy a piece of property because it's priced out of your pocket because you don't make your money illegally. Now, extrapolate that to an entire country. It inflates the prices of a lot of things. Um, and sometimes if you aren't careful, um, you have some very undesirable impacts to your economy as well. It undermines your economy. Um, but the real estate example is one that hits home because a lot of people have visions of becoming homeowners. So it's definitely something to think about. I'll be following this particular article and seeing what more is discussed on this space, and I'll be back with more content soon.